A wealthy man who always have what? Followers. But you that you are poor. Do you like it that you are poor? If you know, you know. Hey, hey. Not to know is bad. And not to wish to know is worse than illiteracy. My brothers, my sisters, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on where you guys are watching me from, I appreciate you all. You guys are what again? You guys are the real MVP. Yes, so they say uh, a great prophet begged Naomi to stay away from Toby Peking to avoid calamity. Because if anything happened to those Peking, God forbid, nothing will happen to them. Children are a gift from God that they will put it on Naomi's head. That if Naomi does not want what have happened in 21st uh, uh, and 90 years ago, that Naomi should stay her day. That the way Naomi is protecting Tade, that Naomi should protect herself like that against anybody picking in the palace. Yes, that Naomi should not get involved herself in anything. Whether they say pray for Pekino, whether they say and uh, come and carry Pekino, that the fact is the calamity is coming. And they are finding who they will put the calamity on the person's head. They are looking for who they will blame for the calamity that they want to use their hands and bring. But if Naomi is not self-aware, that is it. Self-aware is everything. If Naomi is not self-aware, that is when she will go and enter one chance that is not part of her. She will go and enter trouble that is not come for her. Do you understand? So Naomi has to be self-aware and Naomi has to tell herself the gospel truth. It's not everything they call her kitty, 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 kata. She will run and go. So she needs to tell them, I am not coming. Let the worst happen. Anything that wants to happen, let the thing happen. But this is not about education. This is not about standing on the pulpit. This is not about preaching. This is revelation, revelation that God has revealed to her and she must tell Naomi. That Naomi did not know what these women have put their hand. So for her to pre prevent the damages that is coming in, front, in the front, that Naomi has to stay on her own. That, they are, that God has sent her to come and warn Naomi because the thing that is coming, that Naomi will not be able to dodge it to. That the only thing Naomi needs to do is to be prepared. And that preparation starts by avoiding the palace. That preparation starts by telling yourself, I am not going, let her reduce her going to the palace. Let her reduce her contact with any of the wives in the palace. Because you don't know what those women are putting their eye pencil. You don't know what they've put in their powder. You don't know what they've put in their lipstick. Forget it. There are evidence poor. If Naomi wants to see evidence, that there are evidence everywhere from generation to generation is not a new thing. People will always want to remove anybody that they think is blocking them from having access to the king. And if Naomi becomes vulnerable, she will be the one that they will use. So in order for her not to be vulnerable, that let her leave these women alone. In short, as a matter of fact, if she if palace is calling her, let her be running from the palace. That is what Naomi will do. Immediately she see palace like this, eh? let her not look back. Let her Ben Johnson. Yes, let her Ben Johnson. And if only beg her from Nati tomorrow, if only tell her, please, oh, come and carry the twins. Eh? The twins need you. That even if it is a pastor on the pulpit, even if it's a pastor that told Naomi, come and carry the picking, that Naomi, she said, no, she's not carrying any picking because it's a serious setup for Naomi. Yes, it's a serious setup for Naomi. And right now, they are telling Naomi it's a setup. If she like, let her know here. If she like, let her continue to be doing, and eh, how will I do now? I need to help. That sometimes you need to help yourself. And that is why the Bible said that heaven help those who help themselves. Of course, heaven help those who help themselves. Great prophet is not begging Naomi, stay away from Toby Pekin. And what is the best way for Naomi to stay away from Toby Pekins? The best way for Naomi to stay away from Toby Pekins is for what? Is for her to stay in her own lane. Yes, that is the best way. If she doesn't stay in her own lane, how will she stay away? Because at the end of the day, if something happened now, what would they say? No, talk true. What would they say? They would say, eh, Naomi came to the palace. After she came to the palace, I don't know what happened. God forbid, though, something will not happen. Like I said earlier, um, children are a gift from the Lord. Children are a gift from the Lord. Yes, Toby Philip, you now have your assurance. Day your day. Naomi, you, your mother have told you. It's not every time they call you in the palace, you will run and go. Have self-esteem. 
I know it's not easy to say, oh, stay from the man you love. Stay from the man you have always loved. It's not easy. But at the end of the day, Naomi just have to make up her mind. Do I want to stay away from KBAC? Do I want to see stand with KBAC? Because if you are standing with a man, the man too needs to stand with you. That is on period. And one thing Naomi should ask herself is, why is it that these women are always planning against me? Why is it that they are planning for me to stop? First, Toby Spilly said that Naomi is an obstacle. Secondly, Miriam is saying that uh, the Oni does not love Naomi. They are using Naomi to watch the throne. They are saying so many things, a whole lot of things, you understand? So right now, Naomi, your son had a dream. So many things are just coming on. Uh, so Naomi just have to make up her mind and tell her mind this, the truth. Yesterday, the Oloris came out and said that if Oni liked Naomi like that, why did Oni not just marry one? He married one, two, three, four, five, six, and they are all going to give birth like Naomi. So Naomi should calm down. So I'm saying that Naomi camp are jealous because uh, Oni Toby have a son. You understand? So many things. By the end of the day, Naomi have to ask herself, who brought all this wahala up upon her? It's only that brought all this wahala on top Naomi. Now let's tell ourselves the truth. It's only that brought all this wahala on top Naomi because... Naomi, Naomi is not afraid though. Naomi is not afraid. I will say it and I will say it again. Naomi is not afraid. But Naomi, you have to take some advice with a pinch of salt. Yes, may God be with Naomi. I think Naomi herself, maybe she's a bit confused right now because she's madly in love with KBAC. But however, I know there is fear. But Naomi, apart from the fear, please. Stay with your gods, whatever your mind tell you do. I know you are going to shiver and all that, but one thing you should know that God will never leave you stranded. You see God, he will never leave Naomi stranded. That's why I say God is always in control. And in the case of Naomi, God will always be in control. Yes, in the case of Naomi, God will always be in control. Because if you look at all the things surrounding Naomi, if you look at all the people that are talking, you will see that at the end of the day, victory is Naomi's so own. Naomi has always has victory, you understand? Naomi is a daughter of Zion, and that is why I see that a whole lot of people are, are just coming up and down to just say a whole lot of things about Naomi. And KBSC does not love Naomi. Naomi is the one forcing herself on KBSC. KBSC does not do this. KBSC love Naomi, and Naomi love KBSC. You understand? <laughs> but right now, there are people there sponsoring bad things. There are people that just want bad things to happen to Naomi. But one thing they will know is that Naomi is a daughter of Zion and Naomi's case is going to be answered in Jesus' name. Amen. So right now, Naomi, you should be happy that you even see good prophets that are going to reveal things to you because even the Bible said that once it's revealed, it means it has been done already. So Naomi, just know that God is with you. God will do it. God will continue to do it. Any man that raises against you in judgment, they shall be condemned in Jesus' name. Amen. So, my beautiful people, that is the story on social media streets that I heard. Please, let's put Naomi on our prayer. It's not easy. But one thing I know for God, one thing I know for sure is our God neither slumbers nor sleep. She's going to watch out and help Queen Naomi in all our doings. And she's going to come out victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. See you guys later, Anna. Peace out.